What's up, what's up, what's up? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all of you who are watching. Whatever time you're watching, what's up? Well, guess what time it is? It's time for another video. And first off, I want to say, Hebrew Israelites, people alike, GOCC, whatever you, you represent. First off, I want to say, I love each and every last one of you, brother. And sisters, the videos that I put up, I'm not putting it up to discredit or degradate any one of you. I'm not, I don't even have a disdain towards you because I do feel and I do believe that you are, I mean, you, you, you're trying to know the Lord God for yourself. I do believe that you are actually on point when you say that we are the Israelites. I do believe that. I, I honestly do believe that. But now, when you, the only thing that I have, the only disagreement that I have with you all is when you say that white people are the Edomites and they come from the, uh, the mountains of Caucasus and all that stuff. And and that's the only thing, that's, well, there's a few other things I got I disagree with you all. But, like, why can't we just talk? But instead, it seems like y'all just want to come and, I mean, come to the page, degradate me, call me a uh, name. You want to say, you uh, rebuke me, which means correct me, you know, and, and things of that nature. But I'm going to get into some scripture. I'm not even going to go to a whole bunch of scripture. I'm just going to come from one chapter. And if y'all disagree with that, if y'all come against me on that, all I say is, Okay, so be it. I love y'all, and I do pray that, that, that y'all come to the truth. And, you know, instead of having that hate in your heart. Because hatred, it don't get you nowhere. Yes, we was enslaved. And, yes, we went through the things that we went through within the years that we went through. But now, who can you blame for that? Let's talk with Carolina David. 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 Now, the reason why I said, who can you blame for that? Because does not the scripture even let us know that God said he was going to give us over to the uh, uh, other nations because we didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments of him. You can't blame God. You can't blame the white man for capitalizing off of the fact that God gave us over. You can't blame the Amalek. You can't blame no one. You can't blame the, the Egyptians. You can't blame no one. Only who you can blame is us because we continue to stray away from his law, statutes, and commandments. We continue to uh, worship other gods. We continue to do the thing, do those wicked things that which he dis, dis, disapprove of. But anyway, I'm, I'm not even going to go that, that far into that. I'm going to just go ahead and dive into the scripture. And as I say again, if y'all brethren have an, an, an sister, when I say brethren, I, I do mean sister too, just let y'all know. If y'all have a disagreement with, with the scripture, because this is what the scripture says. Because like um, a brother brother named B Bank, we were going back and forth in the conversation, and he kept asking me who was the them that 2 Corinthians 6.16 was talking about. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I got frustrated because I'm like, well, why aren't you asking answer my question? And so on and so forth. But anyway. We know that the, I, I want to say to you, I know that the them that Ezekiel and even the um, New Testament and Isaiah, uh, Old Testament and New Testament were talking about because like it, but the brother said that the prophets and, and the, the, the uh, apostles of the New Testament quoted scripture from the Old Testament. I agree 100%. But now what you need to realize is that the, that was an inclusion of the them. 
because if I'm not mistaken, it's a scripture also in the Bible where it talks about the branch, which is talking about like, it, it, it gives the analogy of a branch of a tree. And it's basically talking about us, how we've fallen down and, and but there was an inclusion. I can't get the scripture off the top of my head, but for those who are watching, y'all may know what I'm talking about. But the inclusion was everyone who received Jesus Christ as their, as their Lord and Savior, who takes on the covenant that was given unto us, and who takes it on, on as themselves, who follows his gospel, who believes on his name. That was the inclusion. Now, I'm going to come from John 1, starting at verse 1, going down to verse 14. If you don't agree with this, then my brothers and my sisters, I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will reveal the truth unto you and to remove that hatred from your heart that you have against the other nation. Because we have to move on. We have to come together because a house divided shall not stand. So we have to come together so we can be able to stand against the wiles against of the enemy. But anyway, let's come from John 1, starting at verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. So we know that the Word is Jesus. Jesus was with God in the beginning of creation. All right? Verse 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made so it's letting us know that all things was made by Jesus because without him there would be nothing made basically verse 4 in him was life and the life was with the light of men so in him was life was the spirit and the spirit is with the light of men alright and the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehends it, comprehended it, it not. So, the light that shines in the world, the wicked receives it not. They don't comprehend it. They don't understand. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. Now, right here, my brothers, it says, I'm going to read it again. It says, the same came for a witness. John came to witness, for a witness, to bear witness of the light, to bear witness of Jesus Christ. Or, how y'all say, Yahweh Shah. That all men, through him, might believe. Now, when it says all men, who is it talking about? Who is the all? Is it just the nation of uh, where the uh the the tribe of, 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 of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel? Or is it all men, which meaning all men of the earth, all men on the face of the earth? Verse 8. He was not the light. So we know that John was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. But he was created, he was born. To bear witness of Yahweh Shah, or some might say Yahshua, or some might say uh, Jesus, or some might say uh, the Messiah. Whatever language, whatever whatever language or tongue that you say Jesus Christ in, Christ Jesus in, that's who John came to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which light every man that come into the world. Now, the true light, Christ Jesus, lights every man, us, that comes into the world, who receives him, basically. And it says, verse 10, he was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. So, Jesus Christ was in the world. He came to the world. 
and the world knew him not even though he made the work and then verse 11 says he came unto his own and his own receives him not now who is his own that he came into now we know that Jesus came off the stock of David and we know that David came from off the stock of one of the 12 tribes of Israel which is Judah and if and Judah is uh, uh, the own that is talking about is the Jews, which is of Judah, the, the tribe of Judah, and they received them not. All right, so it's, he came unto the uh, basically the twelve tribes of Israel, one of the twelve tribes of Israel, his own, and they received them not. Verse twelve, but as many as received him. To them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. So what does that mean, my brother? When it says, but it, as many as received him. That means everyone that believes on him, not just Benjamin, Judah, not just the 12 tribes of Israel, but every man, let me read it again. It says, but as many as received him. So whoever received Jesus Christ, whoever received the teaching, he gave them power to become the sons of God. So he gave those who were children of Israel and those that were not children of Israel power to become sons of Jesus, of, of the most high God. And then it says, even to them that believed on his name, that believe on his name. Verse 13, which were, which were born, not of blood. So they was not born of the same bloodline, nor of the will of the flesh. Basically, nor of the evil, the wickedness of this world, of how we think and how we operate. Nor of the will of man. So nor by our will, but who will? Of God. So the will of God is what we're looking at. We can, we, everyone, there's a grafting in come into this process, man. And then it says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. And the glory of uh, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Okay, brothers, I I I I, 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 I really do love you, man. I really do believe that y'all want to y'all do want to speak the truth. But the thing about it is, we need to understand that. The truth is, there was an inclusion. There was an e inclusion of the, the children of Israel. Like we are the, those who are certain that, that was that the covenant was made by, made for, which we had to be circumcised and everything. But then there was a, another portion where it says like the circumcision of heart. Like those that are that was not under the covenant, the uncircumcised. So now it's basically including others, brothers and sisters. Like, stop having the hate in your heart, man. Because, like, accept the fact that we did go through slavery. Accept it. There is no way that we can get around it. Our ancestors, even the ones that went through it, they accepted it and continued on. They didn't, they didn't really teach us to continue to look at slavery but guess what did the world did the, the 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 schools did that's why they had the black history month and all that stuff in history but we got to accept the fact that this is this happened to us and it didn't happen to us by way of the, the uh the white man just say hey we're gonna go and over there to africa and just steal people and bring them over here because we had to be traded. There was a slave trade. So the people that was in Africa that had us traded us. So, it, I mean, it's, it, 
it's so much that happened within us, brother, that in all realness, who can we be mad at? Because the scriptures let us know that God had gave us over. Once again, he gave us up. He gave us to the strong nation because we received not, we, we because we stayed not to his law, statutes, and commandments. It's our fault. It's our own fault why we was enslaved. But now he said he was gonna grab, he said he was gonna, he was gonna gather the people from there where he driven them. They, we may return to the land to worship him. But in, 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 along with them, along with us, it's gonna be others, man, that receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They're gonna be sons of God as well. So I say all that to say this, man. If y'all don't want to receive that, if y'all still want to hate the Chinese, hate the Caucasians, hate the Ishmaelites, hate the Edomites, hate, I mean, hate the Canaanites. I mean, I mean like, if you want to hate everyone, man, so be it. it it's, it's your choice. I can't, I can't come against you on your choice. But there may be some of you who might be listening to this. I like, might say, you know what? That brother got a point. We need to speak love of Jesus Christ. We need to speak the love of God. We need to speak the truth of which to just let the scripture speak, man. Anyway, I love y'all. Have a blessed and peaceful night. Have a blessed and peaceful rest of your day. Peace.